welcome guys to the broadcast for those of you who are coming through for the first time you are more than welcome for those of you who keep coming keep doing what you're doing i love it guys please don't forget to like and subscribe to this content you can put on your notification bell so that you are notified each time i post a new video so guys let's get into this video um yesterday we had for the first time um uh, monday podcast and chill with meg without soul penduka well ever since he started working there so um i was a little bit nervous but i always knew that this is something this could this is a possibility people have got their lives so penduka might one day get a big offer and leave and not come back not that it, that's a bad thing but it's just a reality and i've always wondered how would podcast and chill uh, hold up without so because he's play a very integral role in terms of contributing to what it is today to the culture so as a businessman obviously max she must have thought about that he must have thought okay cool what if so would go what would i do and clearly it is somebody who's been thinking about it who was ready for the moment it's only natural that guys are going to be away from work they're going to get sick and so forth and i saw there's already conspiracy theories um nota being in the forefront of that um i really don't want to entertain that cuz i think it's not nice to always bash so penduka and always watching his moves like you know with a microscope like he's up to something wrong every time the guy is um not been working for only one day it's really not fair to really crucify the man that way but let's talk about um the episode with bob pops it was really really funny i mean it was really really amazing besides the laughter i took away the fact that the guy is really a a good humanitarian you know like the whole story with uh dibaba um t-shirt in case you didn't watch the episode and you don't know the story about dibaba i'll put the video at the end of this so that you could watch it and hear it for yourself um that really touched me and the fact that he did it again i'm sure that dibaba business is really going to boom this time because first time people noticed the t-shirt they liked it and they, and they wanted it they went looking for it but this time the guy actually spoke about it they promoted they gave that business a platform i'm very interested to hear the update on 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 that one hopefully we'll hear more of it i mean he's pushing the guy he doesn't want anything and even said it to make sure that um it's high time that we start promoting each other and looking for and start looking for nothing um i agree with that but let me say something on this one you know an ordinary person who's struggling in the township wherever you know because it's not only people in the townships that are struggling wherever that you're struggling you know um when you're doing something you have less energy and when you're really struggling and you're broke you always want something sometimes it's not even a bad thing it's like you know can you help me out because i did this you know and not because I, i would do it because i want something but because the situation is this way so sometimes people have that mindset not because they really want to rip people off but because somebody is really in that tight corner but when it comes to the government they are not in a tight corner they are just greedy you know and that's not what they employ for if you've already got a job why are you asking for favors after you offered somebody help why are you doing that you know so kudos to mac g kudos to pop pops the guys a vibe and i really appreciated watching that show thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe we have our episode dope shop last week uh i'm in rosebank right i'm going to shelf life mm. to go to go get sneakers and there's this guy literally outside of shelf life he sees me he's like shawn mm. so normally i'm like hey, i can see, i can smell a conversation coming yeah, yeah, yeah. so let me yeah, yeah so let me hit it shawn tanga and walk past yeah, yeah. you know so i'm like sure my guy quickly going to shelf life I'm going to my uber yeah it, <laughs> bro i must have spent like 15 20 minutes in shelf life you know uh. looking at stuff like I get along well with everyone in Shelf Life. 
when I come out, this dude is waiting for me at the at the door. I'm like, yo, this guy, 20 minutes. He's probably he's been waiting here. For now you feel minutes. bad. Now I feel bad. And yeah. he's got his phone out. I'm like, yo, this dude's been waiting for a picture for 20 minutes. Wow. Yeah. So I approach him. He's like, hey, show him Posa. Mm. You know, he introduces himself. Mm. And then he goes, yo, man, you have no idea what you've done for my business. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, I'm Dibaba. Mm. I own Dibaba. And you went on the podcast and you wore one wow. of my t-shirts. And ever since your episode on the podcast, oh. business has been booming. Mm. He's like, immediately after the episode, it blew up. Wow. People wanted Dibaba merchandise. They got a hold of me. I've been printing. I've been moving units. And he's like, he had a, a, a business uh, in Joburg. So Dibaba is actually from this mm. side, from Kokas. But it was under, the store was unsuccessful. And I think COVID hit and he got an opportunity I think through tourism oh. to go and open up where I saw him by the mm. big swing in Pumalanga. And that's one of the franchises he had. But since the episode, it blew up, right? Wow. Dibaba blew up. Mm. Dog, I don't know. I just that's wore crazy, Dibaba top man. to come see y'all. He's was Kalel, right? Wow. And then, in, in his, so he, while I was in Shelf Life, he quickly ran to his car, mm. found like three tops, put them in a bag and came. Mm. So while he's holding his phone, He's got a, a pack of stuff. He's like, yo, here's some t-shirts. Uh, I hope they fit. I just want to say thank you. Uh, we exchanged numbers. That's a black like, person. It's a black dude. Oh, oh, a black even better, dude. Even dog, better. You know? Oh. And so when you gave me a call to say, hey, Ndwana, mm. solo shower in monkey pox. <laughs> <laughs> Ndwana, I am... Oh, 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 oh.